there was a request for a video demonstration of how to record your screen. So I'll try it both with Loom and Zoom. For Loom, click the Loom Chrome extension. It might be hidden under this puzzle piece, or it might be right there. When you get to this screen, pick Screen Plus Cam Full Desktop with your microphone on and start recording. Then it will ask you, do you really want to record your entire screen? And that is exactly what you want to do. You will see yourself throughout the exam. If for some reason you disappear, don't worry. Just keep taking the exam. In fact, if anything goes wrong, just keep taking the exam. When you're done with the exam, press the check mark. You'll see something like this. And you just copy this link and then submit it to the link we gave you links.cs621a.org slash mt1 recording. You don't have to submit it before the end of the exam time. If it takes a while to generate your link or whatever, just submit it when the link is available. We're not going to watch all these tonight anyway. Then paste the link here, fill out the rest of the form, and you're done. What about Zoom? Go to berkeley.zoom.us, sign in, and you should see something like this where you can host a meeting with video on. Now Zoom will load. You can join with computer audio. Set a virtual desktop if you want. Share your screen. That way the screen will be recorded. Put this somewhere off where it's not going to bother you, but leave it on the screen so that we can see you. And hit record, which sometimes gets hidden here. This meeting is being recorded. Now I can take the exam. When I'm done with the exam, I stop the recording. First, it's convenient to stop sharing, then stop the recording. The recording has stopped. In order to get the file, you end the meeting. And you'll see a dialogue like this. Now, for a two hour video, it's gonna take a long time to process, so you could just go to bed and deal with this in the morning. But whenever it's done converting, then save it. And there's a video of you taking the exam. You can then go to bdrive.berkeley.edu, file upload. I can't tell you exactly where on your computer Zoom is going to save this, but mine is in my documents folder in a folder called Zoom. Go find that video, open it. It will then upload. Once it's done uploading, you should be able to click on it. But Google Drive is a little funny, so sometimes you have to refresh the page. It's on your drive somewhere. You might have it as quick access right there. Double click on that and now it's time to share it with us. I don't want to watch it. I want to share it. There we go. Here is where you want. Change this link so that anybody within UC Berkeley can view it. Then copy the link. Open up the form. And paste it in there. There are obviously more steps to this version, which is why we recommend Loom. But if you don't have a stable, fast internet connection, then you have to use Zoom or your phone. The same steps of uploading to Drive and sharing it with us apply if you're using your phone. If you want to upload your video to the internet some other way and give us a link, that's also fine. Just so long as anybody with a berkeley.edu address can follow the link that you submit and view your video because different members of the course staff might have to view your video while we check the academic integrity of the exam. Yeah.